Proven Innocent is a show about wrongfully convicted people and the lawyers who are getting them off. My character, Madeline, was wrongfully convicted of killing her best friend, Rosemary Lynch, spent 10 years in prison, and then, thankfully, gets freed. And when she got out, she went to law school, and she teamed up with the lawyer who got her out, and they made this firm that uh, gets people out of jail. My character, Ezekiel Boudreau, came to her rescue and realized that if this woman with this high-profile case had been wrongfully convicted, you know, what would that happen to the many thousands of others who have been wrongfully convicted? So if there was something that my character could do to help, let me do it. When someone goes to prison for a murder they didn't commit, it means the real murderer is still out there. We work to right the wrongs that have happened in the criminal justice system. Just because someone has been convicted, and that's not necessarily always the end of the story. I play a character that is responsible for putting some of those people in prison. In the pilot, he's a bit of a mustache twirling kind of bad guy. The only thing I can do to make sure I can still sleep at night is punish the killer of their child. What about when you get it wrong? He has to have a backstory that justifies what he's been doing, and I don't think he's really convicted anybody knowingly that they're innocent. I play Levi Scott, who is Madeline Scott's brother, and we were the ones that were convicted uh, 20 years ago for a crime that we didn't commit. Maddie has found this thing, this drive, to right these wrongs and, and work within the criminal justice system, whereas Levi doesn't really find anything. And so the older brother role really disappears. Not everything always goes great when you get out of jail. Um, you can't get a job. Most people still think you're guilty. And Maddie really finds herself having to carry him and having to deal with his emotional unraveling. My favorite thing about it is we don't know who killed Rosemary Lynch. And the reason I think that that's amazing, and for an audience that I want them to know that we as actors don't know, is that while we're filming it, we're also trying to figure it out. It gives them a lot of opportunities to insert a lot of red herrings and, you know, take people down different directions that are probably rabbit holes. Even when we were doing the pilot, pilot we were yeah. like, please let us go to series because if we don't get picked up, we'll never know who killed Rosemary Lynch. I'm kind of, I'm curious if they'll tell us like, like by episode six or seven, if we'll just know or we, we really have to wait. Until, until the, the last, last season, yeah, season, until the season, season finale. finale. Yeah, be interesting. Yeah.